A vacant lot has been turned into an eyesore for Tyler residents and business owners, and now they're asking that something be done soon to clear it off and clean it up. KTK's Frank Jefferson now tells us why it's full of old cars. If they see something like this, you know, I wouldn't blame them for kind of casting a, a wary eye. Jason Lane, the owner of Tyler Trophy, is talking about the people dear to his heart, his customers, and how they might react to this rundown property near his business. The past couple of years, um, we've seen the accumulation of the cars in and around a building that's obviously vacant. Recently, even some homeless people have been sleeping in the cars at night. After calling the city several times over the past few months, Lane says he's tired of the runaround. We'll take care of it. We're looking into it, and obviously nothing got done. According to the city of Tyler Laws, a handful of ordinances are being violated, specifically weeds and debris, and of course, the abandoned vehicles. Lane says one of the biggest reasons the city hasn't done anything about this is because of his location here in North Tyler and feels that if he was in South Tyler, the problem would have been solved a long time ago. Being on the north side of town, a lot of this kind of stuff gets ignored. Lane's fellow North Tyler business owner, Casey Brown, says it's hard enough trying to get customers during the pandemic, and this mess is making it worse. Every customer counts, and their safety counts when they're patronizing our businesses. Lane says he's determined to revitalize North Tyler. I don't know what the laws are that the city can do, but I believe they can do more than what's being done. But he says he can't do it alone. Frank Jefferson, KETK News.